Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at slicing solids. This is seventh grade math, IXL lesson Z4. What is a three dimensional figure? A 3D figure shows the base and the height and a third dimension called depth. What is a two dimensional figure? A triangle, square, rectangle, hexagon, octagon, circle. They have base and height, but they don't have depth. What is a one dimensional figure? Something like perimeter or circumference, finding the distance of one side. Is there such a thing as a four dimensional figure? Nope. What are the different ways to slice a solid? Well, a vertical cut goes through the base. It is perpendicular to the base. The cross sections will look like the face. A horizontal cut goes through the face. It is parallel to the base and the cross section will look like the base. Example number one. The shape is called a cube. Here's the base, the face, the type of slice is vertical. It is perpendicular to the base and it will go through the base. The cross section will look like the face. The result looks like a square. That's it. Example number two. The shape is also a cube. The base and the face the type of cut this time is a horizontal cut going across. It is parallel to the base and it will go through the face. The cross section will look like the base. The result is a square. And that's it. Example number three. This shape is a cylinder. There's the base and the face. The type of slice is vertical. It is perpendicular to the base and it will go through the base. The cross section will look like the face. When you open that up, the result will be a rectangle. Nailed it. Example number four. Again, a cylinder with the base and the face. This cut is going to be horizontal. It's parallel to the base which will go through the face and the cross section will look like the base. The result is going to be a circle. That's great. Example number five, we're halfway there because there's a total of 10 examples. This shape is called a square pyramid because the base is a square. Here's the face and the base underneath is a square. Type of slice is vertical going through the apex. It is perpendicular to the base. We're going to go through the base and the cross section will look like the face. The result of the cross section is a triangle. Good job. Example number six. We still have a square pyramid with a face and the base. The type of slice is horizontal which is parallel to the base and it will go through the face and the cross section will look like the base. The result is going to be a square. Good thinking. Example number seven. This is called a rectangular prism. Here's the face and the base on top. Type of slice is vertical. It is perpendicular to the base, will go through the base, and the cross section will look like the face. The result is obviously a rectangle. Genius. Example number eight. The shape is a rectangular prism. Face and base. This type of slice is gonna be horizontal, which is parallel to the base and it will go through the face. The cross section will look like the base and the result is a rectangle. Hot diggity dog. 
Example number nine, we're almost done. This shape is called a cone. There's the face and a base underneath. The type of slice is vertical, going through the apex, parallel to the face, and will go through the base. The cross section will look like the face, and the result is a triangle. Greatest of all time. Example number 10, our final example. Again, the shape is a cone with a face and the base. The type of slice is horizontal, going across, parallel to the base, will go through the face, and the cross section will look like the base. The result is a circle. Bzzz, be careful. A common mistake students will make when slicing solids is they will confuse the base and the face. Remember, the base is usually on the bottom and the face is usually on the front. And finally, our math joke of the day. I've heard of 3D, I've even heard of 2D, but what is 1D? What does that even stand? What is it? One direction? I don't get it. One direction, what is that? Um, that's it guys, this is the end of our video. Hopefully you enjoyed um, learning something new about slicing solids. Hopefully you learned something new about 1D. And um, yeah, that's it. Uh, we'll see you in our next video, the volume of prisms. See you then, see ya.